Well, we can finally say the bad string of news for Conference USA is over, at least for now. After losing seven schools, what could be nine in the past three weeks in conference realignment, CUSA has gone on the offensive. And New Mexico State is going to be part of the new era of athletics in CUSA. This means the Aggies' four-year stint as an FBS independent is finally over. But what's more is this is for all sports beginning in 2023. NMSU is currently members of the WAC, have been since 2005, but they'll make the switch in order to take the heaviest of heavy burdens off the football program as an independent. They've been an independent since being kicked out of the Sun Belt, essentially, in 2017. Now, along with NMSU, Jacksonville State, Liberty, and Sam Houston will also join the league. All the moves will become effective on July 1st, 2023. The entry fee to CUSA will be $1.5 million. It'll be a reduction of the college football playoff funds. The exit fee from the WAC, $85,000. And now it pits NMSU and UTEP in the same conference for the first time since 1961. KTSM 9's Colin Deaver live on the campus of NMSU. Colin, Aggies finally in CUSA. Uh, Andy, this is a day New Mexico State really has been waiting for since 2017. You have to remember, when they won that bowl game, the Arizona Bowl in 2017, that was their last game in the Sun Belt, who effectively kicked them out of the league after they won that bowl game. Since then, just seven overall victories for New Mexico State football uh, in the four years since that game, that since uh, they were kicked out of a league. And you have to remember, they did not get to play football in 2020, largely because they were not in a conference. So this move really helps them from a stability standpoint you went over all of those fiscal opportunities those financial opportunities that they will have because they are in conference usa but the stability standpoint is the biggest thing for me that stands out for the football team obviously this is an all sports move men's basketball women's basketball baseball uh, softball track and field everything will have their day in the sun in conference usa which looks to be right now at least a, a pr has been able to save itself pretty well after it was poached by pretty much every other conference in the nation over the last few weeks, but the way things stand right now, New Mexico State is in a very good place, exactly where they wanted to be back in an FBS conference. Our main goal and our main focus in the athletic program uh, for our football program, as well as everything else, centered around uh, getting into a, into a conference. And to be invited and accepted by Conference USA is nothing short of Phenomenal. I was persuaded that this is very much in alignment with the direction that we want to head as a, as a university. Uh, it gave me great confidence that uh, it will be very selective in terms of what we might do in terms of direction for the future. And speaking of the direction for the future, Mario Mocha said that as of now, Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee are still in Conference USA. They, of course, been rumored to go to the MAC over the last week. So right now, with those two schools in the league, that gives Conference USA nine members. However, you never know. They could still leave for the Mid-American Conference. That would leave Conference USA with seven teams. Of course, you have to have eight teams to uh, at the FBS minimum to be considered an FBS conference. So this could not be the final uh, move that Conference USA makes, but it is very good for New Mexico State that they are part of one of the biggest moves Conference USA made, has made in the last few years, one of four schools that will join the conference on July 1st, 2023. And Andy, they will have some friends alongside them in Conference USA, of course, back in a conference with UTEP for the first time in 60 years. Yeah, that's right, Colin. What does UTEP now think about all of this? The Miners will now be conference rivals with NMSU for the first time since 61, as you mentioned. In the Border Conference, we caught up with Director of Athletics Jim Center on the golf course this morning to see what he had to say about this. It's really remarkable. In, in some ways, it's a shame that universities that are this close together haven't been in a similar league, you know, since the 60s, right? It's just, it's just crazy. So I'm really excited about, obviously, I think this is going to add uh, some additional emphasis to our games that we play with New Mexico State. I think it'll juice up our rivalries. Uh, hopefully, uh, the, the folks in Las Cruces and, and the, the alumni from uh, New Mexico State are going to be, you know, excited to play uh, the, the, uh, the UTEP Miners and have something more uh, at, at on the line when we when we compete. Again, effective date for all of this, 2023. Oh, and in case you forgot, big weekend on the field in sports. UTEP will host number 16 UTSA tomorrow night at the Sun Bowl. Miners looking to knock off a ranked opponent at home. 
for the first time since 2009 when they beat Houston. Kickoff is slated for 8:15. It'll air nationally on ESPN2. As for NMSU, the Aggies will host Utah State on Saturday in a rematch of the 2017 Arizona Bowl that Colin alluded to. Aggies 1 and 7 this season. They've dropped their last four games. Utah State meanwhile 6 and 2 and just might be the best team the Aggies have played all season. Kickoff in Las Cruces is at 2 p.m. and then